Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today we're going to learn how we can beautifully control the viewer's eye and completely shift the balance of light in our scene to create a very natural but powerful vignette. This is the image we're going to be working with and I promised Raya Pro users that I'd show them how I blended the exposures for this image so it'll only take a few seconds. Here's our brightest exposure on top, our darker exposure in the middle and our medium exposure on the background which has overexposed highlights. So all I'm going to do is select the darker exposure, open up Raya Pro, go to apply image dark one, then make this layer visible and change the opacity to around 50 or 60 percent, let's say 60 percent. Next to blend the brighter exposure we're just going to make this visible and we can see it's very bright, then we're going to go to rapid blend if and choose bright. And we're going to bring the opacity all the way down to around 34%. And if I just group these layers, Control and G, you can see we now have a very balanced scene. Whereas before we had overexposed highlights and some very dark shadows. To create a powerful vignette, all we need to do is open up a curves layer and bring the curve up just a little bit. Then we're going to press Control and I or Command and I on a Mac to create a black layer mask. Then with the paintbrush selected, we're going to make our foreground set to white and we're just going to paint in the area we wish to illuminate. This is where we want to lead the viewer's eye. Once we've done that, all we need to do is duplicate the curves layer by pressing Ctrl and J or Command and J on a Mac. And then with the mask of this layer selected, we press Ctrl and I and that will invert the mask. So we'll only be affecting outside of the center part of the image. And this time we go to the curves layer and we just bring our curve down slightly, not too much. And so now if we just group these layers, press Ctrl and G to group them, we can see a before and after. Before we had a fairly open image, we weren't really moving the viewer's eyes towards the center part of the image, which is the main focal point of this image. But now this new vignette pulls the viewer's eyes towards this center light source. And if we want, we can darken or brighten either of the layers. So if we want to darken the vignette a bit more, we can. And if we feel the center part is a little bit too bright, we can bring the opacity down slightly. So there again is a nice before and after. Now, with most images, that's all you'll need to do to deepen the mood in your image. But as you can see with this image, there's some banding in the sky. I chose this image on purpose because even small contrast adjustments can create banding in the sky. And I wanted to show you a very cool technique for reducing the banding in this situation. So to reduce the banding, we just hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and left click on the mask. And you can see our mask here. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and I'm going to set the amount to 12% and distribution to uniform. And I'm going to press OK. Now this won't add noise to our image, just in case you're worried about that. Next, I'm going to click on the top curves layer and do exactly the same thing. Noise, add noise, and OK. Now, when you look at the image, the banding has completely disappeared. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a good chance you'll still see banding. But if you go down to the description box for this video, you can see a link to the final image and you'll see there's no banding at all in the sky and it's a very clean image. And so one final look, this is the beginning of the image, we have a very open scene and with the vignette added, we now pull the viewer's eyes towards the center part of the image or the light source. And if we wanted to, we can even move the light source around to better suit our needs. And you don't have to create a vignette in the center of the image. If you have a sunset here or a sunrise here, you can paint in that area and build the vignette around there. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have, please feel free to comment or to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day.